Good morning. And we, we can we can hear you. We can hear you uh, very very clearly. Um, why don't you um, introduce yourself real quick, and then what I'm going to do is just uh, you, you sent me your bio, so I might as well read it. But I wanted you to just say hi and, and say where you're calling from, and then I'll read your bio. Well, this is Gordy Caverly. I'm the regional vice president for a professional engineering company nationwide called Midstate Consultants. Our company has been around over 50 plus years, and we are some of the people and the professionals that are building the telecommunications that almost everybody out there uses today. I am calling in to this wonderful station from Lennon, Michigan, yes. just about in the middle of the state of Michigan. Wow. Right now where it's cold and rainy. Well, it's... And uh, I'm looking forward to a bright, cheery telecommunications conversation with Mr. Ware. All right. Thank you. All right. And uh, Gordon and I met uh, through professional channels and, and uh, conference associations, and we've been... Uh, friends and shared information. So let me just read his background so we kind of get some context to why we're we're talking and we're going to open this conversation up here in just a few minutes. So Garten is a regional vice president for Middle State Mid State Consultants, uh, managing the Ohio, Kentucky, uh, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee operations for the company. Mid State Consultants is a full service telecommunications engineering company with nine regional offices throughout the United States. Gordon has over 35 years of experience in, telecommunica in the telecommunications field, including planning, detail engineering, and project management with his career beginning at Michigan Bell Telephone. Later, it became uh, Ameritech uh, SBC, and then part of AT&T. He has a degree in electrical technology, electronics technology, and is a registered communications distribution designer, or RCDD, and that industry is well known um, as uh, a person in the telecommunications industry being an RCDD, for those that might want to seek out careers in telecommunications, and we're going to talk more about that in a moment. He entered private practice in 1988, forming the company Telecommunications Engineers Incorporated, or TEC Incorporated, uh, is their DBA, which serves many, served many clients across the Midwest until its sale to U.S. Telecommunic U.S. Communications Corporation in 2000. He has presented at many telecom industry meetings on multiple technology topics and strategies. As part of his continuing education in the constantly changing field of telecommunications, he has also attended well over 350 conferences, seminars during his career. Garten is the author of the July 2010 uh, broadband communities article building in the concrete jungle a case study on the method or uh, methods and construction techniques for delivering fiber optics technology to locations in densely populated cities and areas where construction is difficult and expensive and that's some of the things that we're going to be talking about um, and uh, Garten also sent me some other things that if we have time we'll get into those but um, Garten tell us you know just, just tell us uh, in brief what your message is with regard to um, the telecommunications industry and what uh, we should be expecting uh, as it starts to continue rather not start but continue to evolve the telecommunications industry is probably one of the most enlightening, exciting industries that anybody could participate with in the world. It has afforded me a lifetime of opportunity and continuously challenging my learning abilities. 